rendering in PhotoView 360 for SOLIDWORKS 2013 is an awesome new addition to the program. So what you can do is you can actually set up this network rendering client on any computer on your network and you can harness that computer's processor to help with a rendering job. Now when you launch the network rendering client it will automatically enter into client mode waiting for a job but you could also have it set up so that it's running on a schedule. So you have the option to either have it run all day, every day, or we can set it to run at specific times. So if we clear the all day option and we go down to Sunday actually, we can modify what times is available. Now even though it says Sunday, it's actually modifying it for every day of the week uh, because we have that every day option checked. If we clear that, then we can manually adjust each and every day of the week, either turning it on or off or setting it to a specific time. So for instance, you know, we know everybody leaves at 5 o'clock on on Monday, we can set this so that it's going to be available from 5.30 onward during the day. So now once we've got everything set up to the schedule that we want, and we enable the schedule, then we can switch over to our SOLIDWORKS workstation. Now here we're going to be able to leverage these other computers on the network to help me do my render job. So I'll go into the options for PhotoView 360, and I'm going to turn on network rendering. So here I have my client workload. I'm going to set it at 200% which is uh, pretty good for the computer I'm using. Now I'm going to get a little pop-up with some information about uh, network rendering and it's going to give me uh, some warnings that sometimes network rendering it's it's not going to be as helpful um, as, as maybe I, I, I might have thought at first and the reasons are for one thing all my pre-processing has to be done on this computer so if you're looking at this pre-processing that's happening right now, I think, man, that was fast? Well, that's because I just sped it up by 2,000%. So that really was four minutes of pre-processing that happened in a few seconds. Now I'm actually rendering my image. And you see those, those orange squares. Those are the, the buckets of, of information that are being processed here on my local system. But you see the blue ones? Those are the buckets that were sent across the network to the other computer. They haven't moved yet. And that's because the other computer is still getting set up. All the information is still getting transmitted across the network. And it hasn't actually done any processing yet. It hasn't started rendering any of those buckets. So you can see that the local processor kicks in right away. But we still are waiting on that network processor to, uh, to come along and start helping out on this rendering job. So that's why it's important to, to kind of weigh the size of our job. Is it really necessary to send it across the network? And if not, it might be better to do it locally. Or if it's a really big job, then we can send it across the network. And we see now that those, those yellow uh, buckets, they're starting to process now. We're seeing the render coming through, and it's helping out with my job. So we see it's not quite as quick as the local, but it's definitely going to help me out uh, if I have a very big render job to do.